We forgive much because we've been forgiven much. Luke chapter 7 verse 47. Therefore I say to you, her sins which are many are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. In this incident, and we've just read one verse from this entire narrative in Luke the seventh chapter, verses 36 to 50, uh, we find Jesus visiting the home of a Pharisee, a religious leader, uh, Simon. And he comes into this Simon's house and they're seated at the table. And of course, in those days, the table was low lying, they were on the floor. Uh, and uh, here comes a woman and uh, she begins to wash Jesus' feet with her tears, wipe his feet with her hair, anoint his feet with oil and kiss his feet. And Simon and other people who are with him uh, at that table, they say, well, if Jesus was a prophet, he will know what kind of woman is actually doing this for him. And, and they recognized this woman. She wasn't, uh, uh, somebody was well spoken of and so on. And then Jesus begins to speak to Simon. And uh, he says, Simon, uh, he narrates to Simon a little story about, you know, who would appreciate forgiveness more? Someone who, whose debt of a, a, a hundred, uh, say a hundred, a hundred rupees or a hundred Dinare was forgiven or somebody who owed thousand was forgiven of that and cleared of that debt. Who would uh, appreciate, who would enjoy that forgiveness more? And Simon says, you know, of course, the one who had a bigger debt, whose debt was cleared, that person obviously is going to appreciate that more. And then he says, you know, even so this woman, her sins were many and her sins are forgiven. Now, and, and because she loved much, because her sins that were many were forgiven. There's something interesting here for us to understand that when we are forgiven much, when we appreciate how much we have been forgiven, we're able to love that much more and we're able to forgive others that much more. Now, the implication is not, or what we're trying to address is not that we should go and sin a lot so we could be forgiven. That's not the point. It's the appreciation of the forgiveness you've received which is important. See, you know, some of us, you know, we may not have done all kinds of things, like we have not, may, may not have murdered, we may not have robbed uh, people of their money and, and so on. We may not have done such grievous things. Uh, and, and, and we're not saying that we must go and do such things in order to appreciate forgiveness. No. When we look at what God has done for us and appreciate the forgiveness we have received, we will be able to love Him more and it will also motivate us to extend forgiveness to others because we have been forgiven much ourselves. So take some time to thank God for the forgiveness you have received. It's not how many sins you've committed, but you are, your understanding of that forgiveness. Appreciate the forgiveness God has extended to you. It will cause you to love Him more and to forgive others even more. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the simple fact, Lord, that we have been forgiven. No matter what we've done, we thank you for the forgiveness you've bestowed or given to each of us. Thank you, we are forgiven. And because of that, we love you more and we're able to extend forgiveness to others. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.